Here's a quick tip to save lots of time when you create your next PowerPoint presentation using ChatGPT to do the heavy lifting. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT. No more VBA code like I've shown in a video last year. No design skills, just pure AI magic. Let's have a look. Let's head over first to ChatGPT. And in ChatGPT, to save us some time here, I've already prompted it to create a product pitch for a fictional product called RoboPet. And I simply prompted it, asked it to create an outline for the uh, slide presentation that pitches the product to a pet owner. And this is what came out. A total of 10 slides going from the title to the problem solution, key features, the benefits to the pet owner, testimonials even, product demonstration, pricing and availability, a call to action, and then leading into the Q&A with yet another slide. Now, once you have these 10 slides, the all, all you need to ask ChatGPT now is to create a PowerPoint presentation with these 10 slides. PowerPoint goes to work. This takes a little while as it creates the PowerPoint presentation. And finally, it will present you a download link. Simply click on the link to download the file and then open the file in PowerPoint. Here we are in PowerPoint and you can see we have all 10 slides over here, including all of the bullet points and there is a small little problem here with the bullet points. We seem to have double bullet points now because ChatGPT generated one version and now we have the other version right here. But this is a small, small little detail. And to make these slides now pretty, if you have a paid subscription to Microsoft 365, then you will see the designer feature in the upper right corner here. Click on that and PowerPoint is now generating some slide ideas based on the content of your slide. So it realizes we are talking about pets. So it creates a couple of slides with these pets here. This one here is even animated with the wiggling ears. I quite like that. So let's put that one in here and then move to the next slide. And PowerPoint is continuing to generate these uh, slide ideas and that's pretty much all there is to it. Now just rinse and repeat for each slide and you are good to go. Now isn't this cool and what a time saver. So now you can focus on your presentation and if you deliver it in an online meeting I recommend this video here that will allow you to level up your confidence in online meetings. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.